So the question we're going to look at today is, can you drive Lyft if you have a record? So I've had this question a couple times on my videos. You can check them out for other tips on how to drive Lyft and other Lyft knowledge. But today we're going to look at this. So I'm at Lyft's official site and we're going to kind of look at what they say explicitly, which is very wide open on if you can get approved to drive Lyft with a background check. Uh, so, uh, they say potential drivers must undergo a criminal background check, of course, because they can't just have anybody doing this, um, but what they say they look for is a third party company checks national and county level databases and when necessary local courthouse record checks going back a, ma a minimum of seven years and longer in some jurisdictions. So I guess that depends on your county, right? So. Um, you may be ineligible to drive on Lyft platform if you have a violent crime, which is super, which is kind of wide open. I mean, is that a murder? Is that a, uh, you know, just a assault and battery or, you know, I don't know what. Uh, a sexual offense, a disqualifying felony, which is also, which is another vague term, because uh, that could be pretty much any felony. I'd say if you have a felony, probably not going to get approved. That's just me, because uh, with liability reasons, you know, that headline, you know, Lyft driver felon does XYZ. If that happens with you, then it's going to look bad on them. So I think they try to just stay out of the felony range. Although a lot of people employ felons, but that's another topic. Uh, disqualifying drug related offense. I think that means drug and vehicle related offense. That's just my guess. Because if you just had a possession charge, I'm not sure if they look at that as something that necessarily looks bad on them or impacts your ability to drive and take passengers around. But I'm not 100% sure. So disqualifying theft or property damage offense. So there could be other things that you have on your record that will still get you through this. Obviously, I'm thinking that it, I, I'm surprised that DUI isn't on here. Um, explicitly but I think that that probably would fall into it so with all that being said this is gray enough that I would still apply in most cases to try to be a Lyft driver if you want to pursue it right um, I'll put a link in the description you can get a bonus if you use my link just saying there's some bonus money it's different per region and I've got another video where we're gonna talk about that but I would just go for it. You see what happens. Worst that can happen is, you know, get disqualified. Um, you know, that's the worst. You know, what's the worst that can happen? They can say no, right? That old saying. Uh, but let's look at one other site. There is a Lyft driver site that, um, let me go pull it up a little bit closer. There we go. All right, so this is from Hire Car. It's just a site that I found on Google. And they have some more insight on what exactly gets looked into. I'm not sure where they got this, um, but they seem to know some more details on, especially the driving related background check offenses. So I'm gonna put links to Lyft site and this site in there as well. So apparently they look at your driving record, right? So maybe more than three moving violations, speeding tickets, stoplight violations, accidents, driving without insurance. Those are things that I would think would be a given and those would be the big ones. Um, and I'm glad that they're saying them here. I'm not sure why they weren't explicitly on Lyft site. I'm sure they're buried in there somewhere on another link I didn't see. But um, a DUI or any drug related violation in the previous seven years such as drug possession, hit and run, other felonies involved vehicle. So this is pretty clear cut. Um, you could still apply. They may make an exception. Maybe you're uh, your charge falls outside the bounds of what they uh, think is, you know, acceptable. Um, with drivers that I've referred, that I've been able to see, you know, hey, you had this many people that uh, went through your link and uh, you know got approved or didn't get approved. I think I've had maybe less than ten percent that actually didn't get approved. It doesn't tell me the reason though. Like I don't know that stuff. Um, I'm assuming maybe it's for, you know, this type of stuff, background, uh, in driving, probably I'm sure most of the people who apply probably aren't, you know, like drug kingpins and murderers, but anyhow, 
put those links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps answer your question on this, and have a good one.